Sandy Monroe is back with his monthly segment that we call the Teardown with Sandy Monroe. As you know, Sandy is one of the uh, few new uh, contributors to this channel, monthly contributors. Uh, some of the other names include the CEO of Fairday Future, Karsten Breitfeld, Rich Rebuilds, and a few others. Uh, and so if you haven't subscribed to this channel at this point, uh, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And if you already have, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward, especially the amazing contributors uh, like Sandy. Today we're going to talk about something that I've been wondering for a, a while and it is wh wh why the Tesla Model 3 that's been produced in China now for, for a few weeks. I know they shut down for the coronavirus, uh, which it seems like they only have a couple more weeks to go. Of course, things change very quickly, but uh, why that car still doesn't cost less than it costs here in the United States? Um, and if anybody can uh, give me a good answer is, of course, Sandy. He goes back and forth between the United States and China. He's very much involved in production there. Uh, we've already had a few conversations about how manufacturing is really moving to China and how... Um, how the equipment and factories there are state of the art and in some ways in many ways are better than what we have here in the United States and even Europe. Um, and before that, of course, a uh, quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their uh, all electric SUV called Ambyte that's coming to the United States and uh, Europe in next year. Uh, don't forget to make a reservation. Look how fast and easy it is to reserve Byton, mainly because there is no payment form. That's right. It's absolutely free. For now, so go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right, without further ado, let's talk to Sandy. Sandy, welcome back to your segment. How are you doing, my friend? I am doing swimmingly well. I'm happy as a clam. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, so let's talk about the topic that I think um, a lot of people have wondered about, but none of us really have a good answer. And I can't think of a better person to ask than you. So here we go. We're gonna talk about Tesla Model 3. As you know, Tesla just opened factory in Shanghai, where, you know, even you yourself, when you first appeared on my show, said, you know, it's going to be cheaper to produce it over there. I mean, that's kind of the whole reason people make anything in China, which makes sense. But now that we know the pricing, it sounds like Tesla is not, I mean, it's charging less than it used to, but it's still more if you convert to uh, uh, the U.S. currency than the Tesla Model 3 that's made here. Can you make sense of that for me, please? Sure. Um, first off, there's a, there's a different uh, rules as far as taxes and whatnot are concerned. Um, Tesla got uh, their factory, uh, their old factory, the one in, uh, in Van Nuys, basically for free. Um, they, um, they didn't, uh, didn't probably, uh, what's the right word? They didn't really understand uh, the cost of, of doing business when they when they built the Model Three in the United States, uh, but they definitely understand it now. And then there's this little thing about people thinking, oh, uh, you know, uh, China labor is is cheap. Well, it's not actually. Um, China labor is. Um, uh, in some cases, like in Shanghai, more expensive than in the United States. So Wait, uh, what? I, I, that you yeah. just blew my mind. So I, 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 how, how is that? Because I, I thought that if anything, the salaries would be less there than than here in you know Fremont is in Silicon Valley, where the real estate just to rent, just to live there costs so much. Yeah. Uh, tell me how is that? How is it possible that Shanghai? Can actually have a higher cost of uh, labor rate labor yeah. rate wow. what i was talking about yeah. so when you uh, when you um do a, a, a the overall view of who who has the cheapest labor uh number one is uh china china or sorry not china mexico mexico is uh definitely uh, uh the cheapest labor rate um period anywhere um for that, and that's with the same, that's at the same productivity levels. Productivity levels make a big difference in the United States and Canada. That's what kind of makes us, uh, puts us into um, level uh, level two. And uh, China, China, um, their productivity rates are lower um, and their uh, labor rates are, are relatively high. And if you think it's uh, expensive there, you want to go and try and um, buy something, some land in Shanghai. 
Uh, I think they're selling it by the uh, by the square centimeter now. It's expensive. Wow. Mm. It's not like Hong Kong. Hong Kong's the most expensive place on the planet to uh, to to buy land, but um, it's not cheap in uh, it's not cheap in China either. Or let me rephrase that: in Shanghai. Okay, so so essentially, you're saying it is not cheaper to produce the Model Three in China. Oh um, yes, it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Because steel is cheaper. A lot of the materials don't have to be shipped too far. Um, I mean, logistics costs for a lot of what uh, what uh, goes into the build of a car are cheaper in China than they are here. So, so okay, so I understand. So okay, so the labor is more expensive, but the materials and transportation of the materials is is cheaper. Right. But then, how is that the price of the Model Three in China is not? What 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 what? And what was the reason besides the obviously tariffs, though that probably is good enough uh, for really anybody to uh, make cars there versus somewhere else? And I don't mean necessarily United States, but let's say South Korea or so forth. Well, they've got uh, different tax rules. If the car gets exported, um, then probably the price of the car is going to go down. So if they're exporting it and sending it to uh, Korea or Japan or something like that. The manufacturing taxes will go down, and um, and the car becomes less expensive. I still think that if uh, if I was Elon Musk, I'd be importing uh, Tesla Model Threes to uh, the U.S. and probably exporting them to all over the place, because I think that with the um, reduction in uh, the reduction in the taxes, it's it's probably going to be less money. The other thing we have to remember is that. Uh, I think Elon wants to make money uh, now. I think he's already had his fair share of uh, mm, criticism about not making money. Right. So, uh, I mean, why not? If somebody is willing to pay ten dollars for a pair of shoes that you could probably make for a buck, why not? All right. Uh, so, but do you believe that at the end of the day, just cost of making one Model Three versus the U.S. is cheaper? Or do you think that is just still not true? No, I think it's. I think it'd be cheaper. It, I know it'll be cheaper to 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 build it in uh, in China. Okay, so let's talk about maybe some other brands. You know, Byton is you know the sponsor of the show, but uh, they have obviously decided that they're going to manufacture their cars um, in China and then export it to. Uh, to the United States and and mm -hmm. Europe and so forth. Do you see uh, that model being viable in terms of and you know there's not it's not just uh, a Byton. There's obviously Neo and a few other manufacturers like Biadi as well um, that are hoping to sort of you know break out of China and and uh, sell the cars here. Well, what are your thoughts on that? I think that um, I know that um, many of these car companies um, had very big plans for uh, for actually manufacturing in the U.S. and uh, selling in the U.S. Unfortunately, um, with the uh, with the uh, what would be the right word? I, I don't want to be rude, but um, let's just say the um, the economic conditions that we've got with um, with a um, um, the tariffs and the um, bad blood or whatever i don't i don't know exactly how to i'm not a good politician so i i, I want to steer clear of trying to put a title on this but um but i'm i'm reasonably certain that uh, we would have had car companies in china sorry in the united states from china if um if it wouldn't have been for um the wars the the financial wars right and i mean it is uncertainty on top of everything right um and do you i mean do you think at the end of the day in another year or two once biden you and other companies are planning to come here to the united states and europe do you think they have a chance of succeeding sure they they have a chance everybody has a chance of succeeding it depends on what the product looks like when they get it into the marketplace i mean i haven't uh, i haven't um uh, well that's not exactly true but I don't know exactly what they're going to put out, and I don't. I can tell you one thing for sure: if Great Wall ever decided to uh, send their products here, um, then um, the that would that would definitely give a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, car companies in the United States a, a run for their money.
We should also mention Great Wall is a, a Chinese manufacturer. That's the name yeah, of is. the company. Um, all right. Now, there's another you know, speculation here. And even though I'm a brand ambassador for them, I don't have any knowledge of this. But I know that one of the investors into the latest round for Byton is a South Korean manufacturing company. So there's speculation of Byton going maybe possibly around the whole the tariff war uh, by you know, manufacturing parts in China, importing them into South Korea, making the car there, putting it together, and then exporting it to Europe and the United States to avoid some tariffs. Is that a viable strategy for, for kind of a, you know, staying away from the tariff wars? Working for me. <laughs> well, I mean, expect- really and truly, I, 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 can't, uh, I can't make things work directly from uh, the United States. So I have, um, I have partners. And uh, so I sell to them and they sell to somebody else and boom, it gets into China. I can't, uh, I can't, I, I don't know. I, 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 this is some sort of a private vendetta or whatever between, uh, between um, the president and, um, and the chairman of China. I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just a working man. I, I'm just trying to uh, make a living. All right. But just generally, uh, go ahead. Well, it's, I mean, it's the same old, same old. Every, you make a rule. Okay, fine. Then you you look at it and people say, well, I, that's a good rule. So uh, how are we going to get around it, or what are we going to do to, um, you know, stay legal but 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 make a buck? And that's kind of how it works. Okay, so I, I wasn't aware if that really does work because if the the parts are still manufactured in China uh, but assembled in South. You are Korea. you are aware of you are the content level of Chinese uh, componentry inside of every. North American or European uh, product is astronomically high. I mean, you can put tariffs on steel, but even with the tariffs, uh, it's still cheaper. And and quite frankly, in some cases, you can't even buy that steel in the United States. We don't make it here. So so um, it, it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. And, and by the by, I'm, I'm sure that you have an Apple phone. Well, that was made at Foxconn and um, the only thing that I know of that Apple does is put a sticker on it and put it in a box. I have so, an Android phone, but I'm sure it's made next door Android. to that. That's right. It's in the same damn factory. Are you kidding? These I, guys don't screw yeah. around. They know how to make money. Yeah. So, it's weird. You know, it, it's weird when people tell me like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy Byton or Neo. You know, they're a Chinese made company. And yet they, they, they're typing those comments to me on their Chinese made iPhone or Android phone. So it's a bit of a <laughs> irony there to say the least. Uh, for the most part, if they say that they're an American company, um, that's fine. Maybe they got their headquarters here. Maybe the profit comes here, but uh, uh, I guarantee you, there's a ton of stuff that's being made in China right now, and will soon be made in places like Vietnam or Thailand or Indonesia or Malaysia. I mean, even the Chinese are finding out that it's too expensive to do certain things in their own country. So they're, they're sending the, uh, they're sending the uh, different components or subsystems or sub assemblies to the lower cost countries. And those lower cost countries are all the ones that I just mentioned. And then some actually people are looking at even um, um, sending stuff to Africa so that, uh, so they can drop the prices. So. Wow. You, you're saying even China is sending stuff to somewhere else. Cause it's, it's even cheaper than China. That is, yeah. That is an interesting world we're living in. But let me ask you this. I mean, here's a big question. How come everyone's not doing that, right? How come- Everyone well, is doing it. Everyone's doing it. Well, there's still some factories left here in the United States. Um, oh yeah, there's still assembly factories and there's still, I mean, there, all you have to do is uh, is figure out how much fresh air is there. You don't want to ship fresh air because you're not charged by tons. You're, you're charged by, uh, by volume. So, um, making seats in China and then shipping them over here, that's not a very good idea because if you're trying to figure out how to put a seat in a box and ship it to the United States, it's not gonna be, uh, not gonna be a good business plan. So um, some stuff, yeah, it's, and by the way, there's the other thing here too, and that's uh, just-in-time delivery systems. Everybody um, needs to uh, manufacture their products um, just in time. And um, I have to have a, a red seat for this car and a blue seat for the next car and a orange seat for the next one. 
guess what? I can't do that in China. It'll never work. It never might. So that's why you have the tier one supply community uh, very tight, very close. But if I'm going to be looking at, um, I don't know, an electric motor or something that's uh, dense and can fit into a, a small box like electronics, I'll do that all day long. Wow, that is uh, we are we are definitely in a in a in an interesting world now, and I'm sure things will change. I know I don't want to get into politics either, but it looks like you know depending on what uh, the next election here in the United States brings and and what the relationship is going to be with uh, with China between the United States and China, a lot of this will will continue being fluid and and uh, uh, unknown. But it looks like. Things are moving away to China and even from China to other places. But, you know, I, I, I hope, if anything, uh, this benefits the consumer. It's always to the benefit the consumer. The, the idea behind moving from one place to another is to get a less price. And um, the one thing you can always count on is uh, the consumer is going to go for the cheap price. That is true. All right. Well, listen, uh, another great conversation. I appreciate you, uh, you know, hanging out with me once again. Uh, we'll uh, we'll wait until next month to have another conversation. And this, you know, we, we, I had already uh, so much feedback and so many topic suggestions from from some of our viewers. So maybe we'll crowdsource our next topic. And I'm definitely looking <laughs> <Right>. forward. To, <laughs> we're looking forward to that. What about crowdfunding? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll do both. We'll do both. So. Okay, good, good, good. All Excellent. right. Well, hey, listen. Have a great the rest of your month, and I will see you here in another few weeks. Okay. Thanks a lot, Alex. All right, and if you want to order one of Sandy's teardown reports, you can go to leandesign.com. I put the link in the description of this video. I, he, 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 he blew my mind, as, as you probably <laughs> noticed. Um, that's a pretty bold suggestion for, for Tesla. And, and, and actually, let me know in the comment section, uh, you know, now that it looks like manufacturing is for cars uh, is moving more and more to, to China and Asia in general, would you? Would you buy a BMW or Tesla or, or whatever car of your choice that was made in China and important to the United States or Europe or wherever you're at? Let me know in the, in, in the comment section and tell me why or why not. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons. William, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. You guys, my Patreons and my sponsors is the way how I'm able to provide you guys with daily news, including weekends and birthdays and holidays. Uh, so, and, and if you're interested in, in getting more of this, don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of that moving forward. All right, I am looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember, to stay charged.